Hello, I'm going to tell you today about something that's very simple, very basic, and you need to know this uh, no matter where you're cooking and what culture. Onions. You need to deal with onions. Onions and garlic are two of my favorite ingredients, and they're very basic, and they're cheap. And you can do a lot of things with onions and garlic. But uh, today I'm going to show you how to deal with an onion. I'm going to show you how to peel it, and then how to cut it. Um, and this is one way to cut an onion. I mean, there's, there are other ways to cut it too. I'm showing you the way that I cut onions, and the way that many of the people who I know cut onions. So, first of all, I have a chef's knife. This is a chef's knife. You notice it doesn't have the serrated edge. It's just got one sharp edge all the way down, and it's about 10 inches long. And it's uh, really sharp. You need to have a really sharp knife in order to work in a kitchen. If you're working with a blunt knife, you're actually putting yourself in more danger than you are with a sharp knife. So, get your knives sharpened. Now, the way I'm going to hold the knife is like so. I have it pinched between my finger and my thumb like this. And I have, I'm going to put my finger, my pointer finger, down this edge of the knife and just support it with my thumb like so. And when I'm cutting, the motion that I'm going to cut follows uh, this pattern. I have the tip of the knife touching the cutting board at all times and I'm just doing this over and over again. This is a good motion to practice. When I was in cooking school they made us do this just to get the motion of cutting under uh, to master that uh, motion. So what I'm going to do to uh, start the onion I'm going to hold it firmly in my hands like this and cut off one edge like so. Okay. The, the, the top of the onion. And I'm going to take the back of the onion and I'm going to just cut off the very bottom, the roots, like this, so that the dirt, the dirt is gone. And then I'll uh, throw that in the compost or the garbage since I don't have a compost, but if you have a compost, do compost it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, you have to keep the, the base intact. This is important. Now what I'm going to do, there's a flat edge here. I'm going to put it on that flat edge and I'm going to cut down through the middle of the onion halfway through the root. And so that way I now have it's easier to peel this way. And you need to take this papery stuff off. Nobody wants to eat well, no one I have ever met wants to eat onion paper. So get rid of that. Sometimes they're a little bit harder to deal with than others, but uh, generally this part's pretty easy. And maybe I'll edit this part out. Okay. So, again, get rid of that. <coughs> now, I have two onion halves. They have a flat side and uh, it's intact at the base. So what I'm going to do now is I have my very sharp knife and I'm going to use the tip of my knife to cut into the onion and I'm going to uh, cut into the onion but not all the way through the onion. I'm just I'm going to keep it intact all the way through. So I'm cutting this way and again and again at about half centimeter or quarter inch intervals. So I'm just cutting this way. Now, so it's like a fan now, it's all cut this way. Now what I'm going to do, in this part you need to be careful that you don't cut your fingers because you, uh, and I have cut my fingers, and if you cut yourself, it's okay. But uh, be careful, be very careful. Cutting yourself is never pleasant, but it's not the end of the world if you do. So, I cut across the onion like this, like so, always being very careful that I don't cut my fingers. And now, <clears throat> now, uh, so I have it cut this way and this way, and cutting it this way will then make even sized onion dice like this. So what I'm going to do now is I have my fingers, I'm not holding my fingers out like this, I'm holding them slightly back like so, and I'm just going to use that rocking motion that I talked about earlier, and I'm cutting straight down through. And if a little piece goes astray like this, I'll just go and adjust it with my fingers and cut it, keep cutting around down like this. And you don't have to go fast if, if you're 
nervous about it, take your time. No one's in a contest to, to see who can cut the onion the fastest. And if you are in such a contest, uh, be careful. I mean, you don't want to injure yourself by cutting your fingers. So, when I get to this point, I usually just take my knife because I didn't get all the way through uh, when I was doing this cut. Uh, I just take those slices and then I cut them across like so. And then I have even sized onion. And there. Now, if I was in my cooking class and my teacher came along and saw that there were pieces like this in here, you, you would criticize me for not having everything uh, even. But uh, we're not in cooking school, we're just making supper for home. So that's how you basically cut an onion. And you might see that I'm crying a little bit. Can't help you with that.